Hello, and welcome to the Framework 1970. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about leaders and managers and what the differences are, if there are any. I think what you're going to find is that as leaders, we, we wear multiple hats. We wear one as manager, and that's where we spend the least amount of our time. And the majority of our time is spent as leaders and coaches. And I think that's what the research you'll find defines as well. Um, we'll look at Drucker's essentials management studies that he's talked about and how he defined um, managers and leaders. And you can see the morphing between these roles as well as coaches. You can look at Project Oxygen from Google, their study on do managers matter. And I think you'll find again, as I said before, we wear multiple hats and then Google or Gallup's 10 year study on what drives performance within an organization titled it's the manager. And you'll see, as I said before, as leaders, we wear multiple hats. We wear one as manager, we wear one as a leader, and then we wear one as a coach. So one of my favorite leaders is Bernie Raymond. I worked with her for years, and then we were regional directors together. And she used to say, Todd, we manage process and we lead people. Meaning, as I said before, we manage the daily activities that are taking place. The numbers, we're crunching numbers, we're looking at expense reports, we're making sure our people are getting their reports in our time and are hitting the KPIs that are important from a business execution standpoint. But that's where we spend the least amount of time. The most amount of our time we're spent leading and coaching people. And I think Drucker kind of hits on this as well, where he says the difference between a manager and a leader is that a manager focuses on doing the thing, doing things right, while a leader focuses on doing the right things. Again, that manager mindset is really around compliance, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, managing the things that the daily reports and activities that need to be done from an execution standpoint, we spend the least amount of our time there because really we set and we co-create standards and expectations or the company provides us an expectation of what needs to be done on a daily, weekly or monthly basis that has to be you know, sent into the organization or sent into your VP or director. And then as leaders, we, we spend most of our time leading and coaching our people. If you look at the research that kind of defines management, you're going to see, as I said before, that we wear multiple hats. And I think it's defined in each of these studies. Drucker's The Essential Drucker, his essential writings on management over his career, Google's Project Oxygen, right? They looked at, uh, at their company early on in the, uh, at, at the start of Google. They hired a lot of really brilliant, they still hire a lot of really brilliant people. And they asked the question, do I need a manager? Do managers matter? And what they showed was that, yes. And you can see, I, I did an outline of this on the framework, uh, an overview of Project Oxygen. And then it's the manager. As I said, it's a 10 year study uh, that Google, that Gallup looked at what drives performance within an organization for an organization. And they said it was the most uh, surprising finding in their 80 year history that managers, the quality and engagement of the manager are the things that matter and drive the most performance and are, are um, accountable for the most performance within an organization. And so if we look at these three studies, you can see there's similarities bef between all of these that they, they show that times we wear that management hat or that manager hat, but most of the time we wear that leadership and coaching hat. And I've kind of highlighted the areas that are, that are seamless across each of them. As Drucker talked about, as we set objectives, we organize the group, we motivate and communicate. We measure performance and we develop people. You can see a morphing between manager, coach, and leader. Google's Project Oxygen is a good coach, empowers a team, does not micromanage, creates an inclusive environment. That's a leadership, uh, that's a leadership quality. Is productive and results oriented. Again, that's a leadership, coaching, and management quality. Is a good communicator, listens and shares information. Again, leadership management and coaching quality because I'm sharing information from a management standpoint, I'm getting information from the brand team or from my leader, then the leadership part is that we filter that information, right? We don't send all that information. We send the information that's going to help our team, you know, execute at its highest level. Sometimes people can get overwhelmed, especially now with the amount of data that's available to us, that the best leaders kind of filter that down and they make sure their teams see the data that's most important for, for, to them to execute their business. And then they listen and they provide feedback to them. And you can see supporting career development, coaching and leadership creates a clear vision and strategy for the team. That's a leadership quality, collaborates effectively, right? That's a leadership quality as well, is a strong decision maker. That's both a management and a leadership quality. Gallup 
develop people, lead change, inspires others, communicates clearly, builds relationships, creates accountability, and thinks critically. So you can see through each of these landmark studies that as managers, as leaders, and as coaches, we wear three different hats and we wear them differently based on the situation and the need for our team or our organization. So I hope that helps. There really is, you know, very rarely do we wear only one hat and, and nobody just wears the manager hat. Now I've seen people who've tried to do that and they've been, been very unsuccessful because people who just manage process and they don't lead and coach their people are considered laissez-faire leaders and laissez-faire leadership is the most destructive form of leadership that there is. The greatest leaders wear all three hats and they wear all three hats effectively. So I hope this helps define the difference between leaders, managers, and coaches. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us on the Framework 1970.